Next we're going to look at more details about bonding. So for example, in the Lewis structure for water, we have two non-bonding pairs on the oxygen and two bonding pairs of electrons. We know that the last occupied subshell for oxygen is the 2p subshell and for hydrogen it's the 1s subshell. This picture shows a 2p orbital in red and a 2p orbital in black around the central oxygen atom and hydrogen's spherical 1s orbital. So we, if we picture the bonding as an overlap between the orbitals, this should give us a 90 degree bond angle in a molecule like water. However, from VSEPR and from experimental measurements, we know that this angle is around 109 degrees, a little bit less because the lone pairs occupy more space and they repel these bonding electrons. So this angle would be a little bit smaller than 109 degrees, but it's definitely not 90 degrees. So the explanation is another bonding theory, which is the hybridization of atomic orbitals. If we plot the energy of the orbitals, here is all of the electrons for the oxygen atom. The important ones for bonding are the valence, so we're not worried about the 1s. We're worried about the 2s and the 2p, the valence electrons. And what we do is we mathematically mix or hybridize the 2s orbital with the three 2p orbitals and mathematically mixing those functions together we put in four atomic orbitals and we get out the same number four new orbitals but these are hybrid orbitals and these hybrid orbitals are called s p three hybridized orbitals s because we're mixing the 2s orbital p three stands for three separate 2p orbitals being mixed together. So we started with four atomic orbitals and we end up with four hybridized sp3 orbitals. All of these are equivalent. So we can put in our electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six. And so we have two full hybridized orbitals and then we have two orbitals with just one electron. Now the hydrogen that has one electron can overlap a hybridized orbital with one electron to make a bond because two electrons are required for every bond. And the sp3 hybridized orbitals, if you work through the mathematical functions, you will find out that the sp3 hybridized orbitals occupy a tetrahedral arrangement. The same tetrahedral shape that we saw before. In other words, the sp3 hybridized orbitals are about 109 degrees apart from each other, which matches the experimental measurements for water. So when you draw the Lewis structure for water, we know that it's not 180 degree angles and we now know that the oxygen uses an sp3 hybridized orbital and the hydrogen doesn't have to mix its orbital the hydrogen uses its 1s orbital and the overlap between the sp3 and the 1s makes this bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen